On the distant horizon I see the sun arising As adventure calls out my name Where dreams dwell, where the road leads No one can tell It's a spirit ride far and wide Tales wait to be told Your mind's an open road Your brain is a galaxy Faces and places like flowers they unfold Your heart is your guide in the universe Far and wide Far and wide, far and wide Let your spirit soar far and wide Far and wide Let your dreams carry you Into the wild blue Let yourself fly Far and wide Far and wide, far and wide, let your spirit soar far and wide. Far and wide, let your dreams carry you into the wild blue. Let yourself fly far and wide. And uh, somebody commented on a picture of you and I said she went to school with you. What's that name? Shit, I can't remember. Kanisha? Yeah, no, we Kanisha. didn't have no Kanisha. If you ever heard of Swamp Pop music, here's the man who put it on the map. And <laughs> tell us a little bit about how that all started, Rowan. Well, it, it started that I was uh, hired as a Cajun DJ on uh, a station. And I grew up with rock and roll as well, so I wanted to put uh, that passion to use as well. So. Uh, I kept asking them to let me do a show and they, they wouldn't let me because I was calling it rock and roll and it was a country station. So uh, I talked with the guy I thought had coined the phrase Johnny Allen, but uh, he sent me a book. It was by John Broven from London. He'd come down and wrote about all genres of music in South Louisiana. And he found this one that was real popular and it's from the swampy areas of Louisiana. So he called it Swamp Pop. So uh, I pulled the label off that says rock and roll and put Swamp Pop on it. And they said, well, we'll let it try. We'll try it for a month get enough right in response we'll keep it and the rest that was uh, 27 years later I'm still doing it so uh, that's what kind of helped me and uh, it's always been a passion South Louisiana music with horns and uh, you can jitterbug to it it's uh it's, it's worth its while yes and, and Roland put together some compilation albums I guess you would say yeah. and the compilations started out as an experiment and now they're going all around the world and, and reaching right. out and doing really well, and that's wonderful. Yeah, I was, I was approached by CSP Records out of Dallas, Texas to do a, uh, a co compilation disc. And I didn't think it was uh, a big thing. He said, well, it'll, it'll go in 17 countries if uh, we sell enough regionally. So that got my attention. So we put one together, and uh, within about five months, I think, it went international. It went into 17 countries. So we put nine more out and then a Christmas album. Yeah. So we've got uh, 11 albums that's going around the world so with uh, Pure Swamp Pop Go. So very proud of that that uh, particular uh, accomplishment. I didn't think it would go as, as well as it did, but it sure did make me feel proud. For the artist, you know, it's, it's all about the artist. It yeah, would be for our artists. People. Yeah, if it wouldn't be for our artists, you know, we wouldn't have had the pleasure. Any benefit we do around here, any wedding reception, this is the type of music they play. Right. Uh, it's uh, very popular. It's a very danceable. It's even on the jukebox up at the moonlight. That's right, that's yeah. right. Anywhere they got a jukebox in yeah. South Louisiana, they got to have swamp yeah. pop music. Uh, now, uh, Roland is also a, a, a teaches dancing. He's also a very, uh, I've never seen him dance, but he is a great dancer and he teaches dancing. Yeah, I started that, I uh, actually started before my radio career. career. Uh, I'm starting my 30th year at LSU. And they asked me to, to uh, uh, promote cultural the, the culture of Cajunism to uh, teach Cajun dancing and I said well I don't know I never tried teaching someone other than just a friend and uh, so I started classes and we maintain 40 to 45 people in per class and do it uh, six eight times a year so for 30 years we've been putting it together and uh, uh, met a lot of like, nice people in it and um, we, we add it to our dance role so the bands can't stop playing because there's more and more dancers coming out 
that's what it boils down to. Yes, and another thing I'd like to add here, next week or a week after that, in the near future, Roland is going to be inducted into the Cajun Music Hall of Fame. It's his first year of being eligible, and he's going to go in, and, and I'd just like to say congratulations. I'm, I'm very honored and touched uh, to be recognized by your peers is, is the ultimate, and um, I didn't think I would get in on the, the first round, but I was fortunate. And on the 16th in Rain, Louisiana, they're going to induct me in, in the support category. Uh, I won't have to play anything or sing anything. And uh, the, the Hall of Fame is actually in Eunice, Louisiana, is where the, the Hall of Fame will be installed. But uh, they're going to do it at what we call Le Cajun uh, Awards Ceremony, where they give out for the best accordion player of the year, the best fiddle player of the year, the vocalist, what have you. And then they'll have one in the support category. I'm the one this year, so I'm tickled to death about it. Now tell us about your, your father. A little bit now. My, my dad play, started playing music at, uh, in Rain, Louisiana, ironically. Uh, he was a, a son of a rice farmer, and uh, he was actually raised by his uncle, uh, Lawrence Walker, and who had a band at the time. And when Daddy made uh, eight, he got him to play rhythm guitar, and by the time he was ten, uh, Grandpa Allen Walker wanted to quit playing fiddle in the band. So. Uh, they told him, take this fiddle out by that oak tree, and when it stops squeaking, bring it back. <laughs> so he played for 45 years in a, in a Cajun band, and that's where I got yeah. my education of him. Yeah, I, I would go to the dances with him, and um, he'd teach me about uh, the different artists, you know, the, the hot ones and what songs were good, what ones weren't. So I kind of honed my education. didn't realize it was being an education at that point. Yeah. But uh, when I started my radio pro program, it uh, certainly has come in handy, yeah. knowing a lot of the older ones as well. Right. Oh, have you ever heard of the Hackberry Ramblers? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was going to ask you about that. It, I was raised close to that area. I was raised in Benton, just outside of that's Charles, where, and Hackberry is down Highway 27. They go way back in time. Way back, way back, back in the yeah. 30s. I had some vinyl records by them. I thought it was very good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they was they go back as far as uh, 78 records, so yeah. they have some yeah. old-time stuff. Yeah. And Hackberry Ramblers, and mm, good many of them are, are deceased now, but they're yeah. still... They're still uh, some new younger ones have taken it over and, and uh, kept that swing type sound alive. Yeah, they were the first ones to do the Bob Will swing type. Yeah, with French lyrics. They had, so, yes, yeah. So it was a swing type Cajun yeah. music. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I, I've seen them quite a few few times over the years. Yeah. So, uh, we, we are very very blessed that the next generation is picking up the um, the, the torch and carrying it forward. And um, I, I kind of attribute that to uh, Wayne Toops. Uh, Wayne Toops was a, a pioneer with his style of music uh -huh. and influenced more accordion players of this generation than anyone I can really? think of. Okay. I call him uh, the Belton Richard of this generation. Uh -huh. uh, in my generation, Belton Richard was the, the one that influenced a lot of us from rock and roll to accept Cajun music as well. Uh -huh. And uh, I look at Wayne Toops as being that for this generation. Yeah. He's, I, I can't tell you how many people he's influenced to play accordion. Right. Uh, the younger generation. And That's I, what it keeps I bought that new album at the Classic Tunes record shop there in Ahmed. Oh, on Amy? Yeah. yeah. I'm, have dark okay. I'm a Texan, but I, <laughs> That's I, all right. That's I'm from right. French Settlement, so I'm getting there. Yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> but uh, you, you I bought, bought that one? album, the one that won the Grammy. Oh, yeah. With Steve uh, Riley and, uh, yeah. and yeah. Willie Savoy. Yeah, Wilson Savoy, uh, Steve Riley, and Wayne Toops uh, did an album of all of the, a lot of the traditional Tradition. songs. Yeah. And it was called uh, Kubion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, just kind of a mixture of, of uh, different songs that but we're so proud of. Grammy, and they that, a Grammy. that's a big thing. Isn't Absolutely, it? Yeah. It, it was so big, and uh, I was so so proud. And and uh, they did a, a concert in Lafayette, and I went down. My son and I went down, and they said this this was one for all Louisianans. It's not yeah. ours. It's, yeah. it's for all of us. Yeah. And uh, the humbleness. It, that's what I love about Louisiana artists. They're just so humble. They, they don't take the credit for themselves. They, they pass it on. That's what's necessary in this world. Who would you consider? I want to say Fast Domino, but who would you say the godfather of Swamp Pop is? Was it, am I off there? Oh, I'd, I'd say he was the father of, of Swamp Pop. He actually called it Rhythm and Blues. It's yeah. really what it was. But when he put the horns to it and stuff like that, it just got a, that boogie-woogie feel. And, and that, um, yeah. Yeah, so he was he was the, the main one back when I was growing up, uh -huh. uh, Fast Domino. And then, of course, we have our local legends as well. You know, you can't uh, pass over Van Broussard or Warren Storm or... Um, Johnny Allen, you know, uh, Charles Mann. We, we've had a multitude. Matter of fact, uh, Bobby Charles Gidry, Bobby Charles, they call him, wrote a lot of songs 
And uh, Bill Haley and the Comets out of California did uh, one of their songs in 1957, went number one in the nation. And that was the first exposure nationally that, that we had. Oh, and what's your name and song? Oh, uh, Chuck's uh, Son of a Gun, I'm Drawing a Blank. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's uh, uh, Bill Haley. Man, what was uh, Bill are... Haley and the Comets song in 57? The one that uh, Bobby Charles wrote. Rock Around years. the Clock. Rock Around the Clock. Yep. Yep, Bobby oh, Charles. Be. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Hey, it's but, not like that was. <laughs> but he, he wrote songs for uh, Neil Diamond, uh, a lot of different people, and uh, lived down in, uh, in Vermilion, uh, down out in the swamp. Uh -huh. was, didn't come out to the public a lot. Mm -hmm. He has his own album. That he did all the ones he wrote for uh, him, and Jimmy Donnelly wrote a lot of Fast Domino's early stuff, uh -huh. uh, Walking to New Orleans and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and he was one of our pioneers, uh, mm -hmm. just from the heart. You know, they write from the heart. Yeah. So. Uh, we, we, we are very, very blessed. We have uh, a lot of talent per capita, uh, more talent per capita than anywhere else I've been in the United, in the United States yes. uh, that actually are from here. And uh, so we're very proud of our artists. They, they, they make us all shine. Yes, and Roland has a radio show that I listen to every chance I can. He's, well, I got, uh, he's got one on the Tiger. That's got to be the biggest clear channel in town. Well, I tell you, it's uh, 100,000 watts, and, and I can reach a lot of people, and that's what it's all about for me, is being able to reach more yeah. people and expose them to uh, our culture and our music. And uh, the Internet is helping us a lot, so I'm getting calls from, from You got Canada. one from Montana the Montana, other day, yeah. and then one from Austin. You got one. Yeah, <laughs> they talk a little different than we do, but uh, they listen to the music, and that's what's important. And they just take them to death forever. Are you into motorcycles, too? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. I've, I've rode motorcycles since I was 13 years really? old. Really? Yeah, and I'm... Uh, I'm riding a gold wing now, but I've had a multitude of motorcycles over the years and love to ride. It's a, it's a part of my life. You uh, go to, to gatherings and trips together or you just do solo? Or? I do a lot of solo and ride with friends. We yeah. went up to uh, Branson, Missouri. There was 10 couples mm -hmm. went on different, various kinds of bikes. Yeah. And I've always told people, I don't care what you ride. If you like the, things, the same thing I like, I want to ride with you. Yeah. And they can ride a moped if they, they enjoy the the freedom and the wind hitting your face, then they are all right with me. Yeah. So I do. I do. Uh, thoroughly love to to ride. Yeah. Davey, you got any other questions here? Well, uh, talking about cutting a rug, you know, dancing. Um, You'd love to uh, see him dance. Well, that. But also, uh, we're at your place of business. Yes. Where you do some rug business here. Yeah. I was a flooring installer for over 30 years, about 12 years ago. I'd always made rugs on the side, uh, putting different colors together and sewing binding on it and stuff like that. And I just decided that uh, it was time i just do this for a living rather than crawl around and beg for a living all the time. So I started a rug shop and um, we've been very successful for the last 12 years. I'm not uh, rich by any stretch of the imagination, but I pay my bills. And, uh, you're rich in good karma, man, what you're doing. <laughs> I, I'm passionate about what I do. Yes, if I'm not passionate about something, I just leave it alone. Like I'm not worth a darn at, at bowling, so I don't even try and just, just embarrass myself. But uh, if it's something I'm, I can be passionate about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work to make it as, as good as I can make it. Yeah. So um, I'll see if we can got, get some music around here. Maybe Cheryl and I can do a little Ooh, that'd be jitterbug cool. for you. All right. Cheryl. Here in Abilene, I'm leaning on enchiladas. I searched the state of Texas, it seems we don't got them. So I'm going down to New Orleans, eat a muffalada. Now I met a man from Louisiana when I was in Nevada. He said, hey you, my favorite food is better than cachata. My interest plight, I swore that I someday just got up. So I'm going down to New Orleans, eat a muffalada. How my mouth wanders with each and every mile. There's a cafe in the corner that's gonna make me smile. I ain't tuned to a message room or room at the Ramada. No, I don't, cause all I want is one. Muffalada 
fine I swore that I somehow just got up So I'm going down to New Orleans Keep up off the lot of How my mouth waters with each and every mile There's a cafe in the corner that's gonna make me smile